Hello everybody, my name is Luminaries, and as you can tell by the title of the video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod Flight Simulator X. I understand that this game is over 16 years old, but I do not care. This game is a fun game, semi-realistic, I enjoy it myself, I play it really, I, I play it a lot. So, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and turn those post notifications if you guys want to see more content and or more uh, tutorials on how to mod different games. Leave me a uh, comment down below on what games you want to see me uh, give a tutorial on how to mod next so you can give me ideas for content. But anyway guys, I'm gonna hop straight into this. Alright everyone, so we're on our Google Chrome, which is where you're gonna get go to the site to get your flight simulator mods. Now, the site is called Fly Away, which is flyawaysimulation.com slash downloads and uh, HTML. Well, I'm gonna leave you guys a uh, I'm gonna leave you guys a link down in the description below. It's very easy. Um, of course, you're gonna see the different ones for full coverage for Microsoft Flight Simulator, FSX, P3D, Flight Simulator 2004, and X Plane. Obviously, for this one, we're gonna be going to Microsoft Flight Simulator X. So it's the first one right here. Now, as you can see, you have different categories here. You have AFCAD files. I have no idea what those are. You have your business jets, so AKA your private. You have your civilian which is like your A380s, a A330s, both Boeings and all that. General aviation, I think it's all over. Helicopters, rotaries, historic and vintage, so your old ones, your military, obviously, and then all that as well. So I'm going to go simple here. I'm going to show you guys how to get a uh, complete base of free model, which is very easy. So uh, I'm thinking of getting a military jet. Okay, military. FSX military aircraft. So complete with base models, what you want to look for. It's one of the e it's the easiest one to do. So uh, I think we'll go with the North American F eighty six F Sabre. It is a nice aircraft, oldish I think, and it's um small ish, and it's very very easy. Very easy to configure. So we're gonna download it. Uh, I don't have the uh, Pro, so I'm going to have to go with the uh, free download, of course. So we're going to wait for that to install, and I will be right back with you once it's done installing. And, oh, I'm not close enough to my microphone. Okay, so we have the mod downloaded at this point. So now what you want to do is you're going to want to go into your Steam. Your Steam. So, once you go into your Steam, you're going to want to go to your Microsoft Flight Simulator X, because this is for the Steam, I forgot to mention that, this is for Steam. You're going to go to Properties, and you want to go to your local files. You're going to go Browse your local files. So, once you get to your local files like this, if I remember correctly, it is Sim, oh, yeah, Sim Objects, and then you have your Airplanes, Animals, Boats, Ground Vehicles, Mist, Rotorcraft. Airplanes, obviously, is airplanes. Your rotorcraft is your helicopters. That took me a moment to re remember. Helicopters. Um, so we're going to go show and folder. Once that's shown in folder, you can go like this. Next one is sim objects. You're going to want to open your sim objects, and you're going to go to your F thing. So you're going to go here. Alright, so you have to look for an air file. Usually if there's an air file in there, it should work. So what you want to do now is you're going to go, you're going to drag it, and you're just going to drop it into the airplanes. You're going to wait for that to copy, and uh, let it do that. While we wait for that, I'm going to take this moment to say, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and turn those post notifications on again, because this channel is uh, only 18 subscribers away from 300 subscribers. I am now on summer break, guys. I have nine weeks of holidays. This means that I have a lot of time to create content for you guys. Anyway, so that's done. What you want to do now is you want to go back into your Steam and then play. Easy as that. You're going to go play. Um, if that's normal for you guys, you just say yes. Otherwise, if you say no, it's just not going to work. All right, so once you're in that, you're going to go like that, I hope. This is open now. You can now go to free flight, change your aircraft,
And, uh, alright, so you see I have the A380. That one doesn't work for some reason. Well, it works, I can use it, but it doesn't take off. Yeah, I have my USAF C-17. Now, we're looking for the aircraft that I just did, which was this one right here. So, uh, yeah, I'm North American. Uh, it doesn't really matter what one to test. I'm going to just test this one with my, yeah, my joystick all plugged in. It looks good. It's a nice aircraft. I like it. Uh, all right, let's get it. Sometimes one of the aircrafts do take a while to load in, so, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Nani, and there we go. We loaded in. So we're in game. I don't have the sound on because it's a bit loud, but let's look at the outside. The gears are uh, down for some reason, which is weird. I can't see where I'm going. I'm going to crash. How lovely. It's not pulling up for some reason. Pull up. There we go. It is an older aircraft, so, uh... I'm not surprised. But yeah, that's basically how you mod... Fi uh, not Farmer Simulator. Why, would I even, why was I going to say Farmer Simulator? That's how you mod... And that's how you mod Flight Simulator X. So until next time guys, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and turn those post notifications on. And until next time guys, I'll see you guys on the next one.